Hi, and welcome to Experiment 11. Today we will understand the variables in the ideal gas law. The four variables are pressure, volume, the number of moles of gas, and temperature. The goal of this experiment is to see with data how these variables relate to each other. We are going to isolate two variables, meaning we are making these the ones that we will change and the one that we watch to see how it changes while keeping the others constant. The three relationships we are going to test are pressure with respect to volume, keeping the amount of gas and temperature constant, pressure with respect to the amount of gas, keeping the amount of volume and temperature constant, and how pressure varies while changing temperature, keeping the amount of gas and volume constant. Generally speaking, Y is our dependent variable, or the one that responds to the change of the independent variable. All of today's experiments, this will be pressure. Independent variable oftentimes is expressed as X, and this will be either our volume, number of moles of gas or temperature. We'll be changing them by changing the volume inside the syringe, as you'll see here on the left, changing the amount of air we seal in the syringe, or changing the temperature inside of the Erlenmeyer flask. These variables exhibit proportionality with each other. Your TA should have defined what this is, but let's talk about it a little bit more. Directly proportional is a ratio of the two variables and how this equals a constant. You can rearrange the equation to get y is equal to the constant x. If we plot this, this is a line and our slope is our constant. If it's an inverse relationship, the product of y and x is a constant, or we can rearrange our equation to get y is equal to c over x. We can plot this on a y versus x axis and we see that y, as it decreases, we see that x values increase. If we replot y versus 1 over x, we see the straight line with the slope as our constant. One variable is proportional to the inverse of another. Directly proportional means that if one increases, the other does too. And inversely proportional means when one increases, the other decreases. We will be exploring these relationships with our different setups. Try to understand where the data comes from so you can place the numbers into context. For parts B and C, you will be looking at pressure and volume. Using a syringe with a known volume, which we will set it to 10 mils, you can attach it to the pressure sensor and in one mil increments, change the volume and record the pressure at that given volume. Moving up in one mil increments, keeping or recording the pressure. We continue to collect data going 10 mils up to 20 mils. We go back to 10 mils and decreasing it to three mils, recording the pressure along the way. For parts D and E, you will be looking at pressure and moles of gas in a system, keeping the volume constant at 10 mils. You take the syringe off and adjust it to 12 mils and do it in one mil increments till 20 mils and you go down to about five mils. We are changing the amount of air sealed inside the syringe at every measurement. With the syringe open to air, setting it to an initial volume, which is recording in the Vernier software. Connect the syringe to the pressure sensor, changing the volume to 10 mils so the volume is constant and measuring the pressure. Parts F and G explore pressure and temperature. We start by using a rubber septa, a thermometer, and tubing. 
that connects to the pressure sensor. Vacuum grease ensures a tight seal between the thermometer and the rubber septa. We slide it in and make sure it's as tight as possible. Next, we attach the rubber tubing. Your septa should look like this. Place the septa on the flask and place it over boiling water. Carefully lower the system into it. Once the temperature inside the flask has reached 85 degrees, we will take the flask out and record the pressure. We pull the flask out, attach the tube to the pressure sensor to ensure a closed system, and start recording the pressure after the temperature reaches 80. Every two or three degrees, we noted the pressure and recorded it. That is what you see here. We did that again until the air inside the system reached 45 degrees. Once the collection was complete, remove the tubing. We can resubmerge the flask back into the water for more trials. All of these relationships were attempted a total of three times. The raw Excel data and the Vernier files will be shared. Work diligently and use the in-lab tips and tricks in the manual to complete your assignment. Good luck analyzing the data.